taking a walk up here to the compost pile and you can see that this area that I cleared earlier of brush uh, has what I, I shouldn't have said cleared but where I was removing uh, the tall um, ragweed has been sprayed by either the roadmaster of our township or by a road, more likely road crew for the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. It's been very dry, so everything is turned pretty, looks pretty, pretty nasty where, uh, where it's been sprayed. You know, just looks like someone sprayed defoliant on it. Which is exactly what happened. And across here, and obvious only to those who know how to identify pawpaws, is our pawpaw patch. the slope. Quite a few new trees coming in. Really extending along along this line. And it is not the easiest to get to, although it's right there. But you have to climb down this rock slope to get into it directly and that's a bit hazardous. More than a bit, actually. So, take the long way around. This is the upstream patch, and there's another, another patch which is downstream, and I follow this path that the deer made and maintain. I'm sure other animals move on it too. Not humans so much. But here we have some trees. They're not really old enough yet, although some of them are getting very close. Looks like some of them maybe did have fruit. Um, Especially the smaller trees often get uh, zebra swallowtails feeding on them, and feeding on them heavily enough that they, they're, you can see a lot of damage to the trees. I don't know that that's what happened to these, but you do sometimes see it. And there's a big snag out in the river too. That's kind of interesting. That might develop into a bar left untended. In this corner of the Oast Dam property extends down to a stream. I'm, I'm noticing that the deers are starting to the deer are starting to prefer a path here, which is nice for me because it kind of splits the difference. But I'm going to go this uh, longer path, I guess. Let's 
a pawpaw tree, but nothing in it, nothing to be seen. There's some fruit. They're small yet, but that's typical. Some years, uh, this is September 19th, September 20th. I should remember what day it is, but I don't. So we're close to the solstice, and that's about the earliest that you would be able to gather any. There's here are some that look like a reputable size. Oh. Those look like they might be about, I'd say, fist, fist size. And that's about as big as they, as they get. We don't get them much larger than that. Uh, the, the floor here is almost all wild ginger. So this is a kind of a fun spot. It's, it's almost entirely uh, pawpaw trees. I just heard a pawpaw fall. So, it, they do have a distinctive sound when they drop. It could be other things in another wood, but in this wood when you hear that plop, that's a, that's a pawpaw coming down. There are some here that are getting close to the point where they might. I'm just looking for things that are a little bit lower and more accessible. Some of the trees in here have, uh, are, are a little lower, but they're mature enough to be producing fruit. And I'm just walking right, right through all the, all the underbrush is, is pop off. See what I just walked through. It's just it's all pawpaw trees. Which is great. So I'm gonna look around here. I'm gonna look through this little grove. These are all pawpaw trees. This is my pawpaw collecting device. 